Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here, and in this video I'll be showing you guys a comparison of Battlefield 1 running on DirectX 11 and DirectX 12. This test will be conducted at full HD resolution 1920 by 1080 with the Ultra preset to keep things as simple as possible. For this performance comparison, I'll be showing you guys one of the first levels of the campaign where you're riding around in a tank just capturing objectives and blowing stuff up. I'll actually have more videos coming soon that will be similar to this video. So I'll be making a video showing the difference in multiplayer at 1080p and then I'll be also doing the same for 1440p. So that includes a single player campaign and a multiplayer segment. The full specification list for my system or my test system can be found down below in the video description. But to give you guys a quick rundown, I'm running an Intel Core i5 6600K which has been overclocked to 4.6 GHz and is paired with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, which has been clocked to 2800 MHz. And then for the graphics card, we've got an MSI Radeon R9390 running at a graphics core clock of 1060 MHz and 1525 MHz to the VRAM. So when it came to DirectX 11 and DirectX 12, I noticed that DirectX 12 was giving me a higher overall frame rate, but I would instead encounter massive frame drops. Whereas on DirectX 11, the overall frame rate was lower, not by much, but the performance was a lot more consistent. On DirectX 12, I didn't have any issues with uh, massive frame drops or stuttering that DirectX 12 was exhibiting. Other than that, this video pretty much speaks for itself, so I'll let you guys enjoy the footage and let you observe for yourselves the difference between DirectX 11 and DirectX 12. If you guys like this video, then leave a like, let me know any comments down below, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.
Collins. Clearing a path for the infantry. Crashing in here! 